let me just record uh, a nice little video. Um, in response to global police departments, if you consider yourself as a police officer, as a law enforcement officer, um, on how to view this case as this is about the local police here in the city of the Novo Mesto, you know. Let me, let me explain to you something about this whole thing, because lately they triggered a barrage of news in media uh, to lift anxiety issues in respect to anxiety fear related issues in respect to police and it's this connection that's not here in the city of the Novo Mesto but in my case foremost in London but also uh, in United States of America uh, and it's this kind of issues that try to it's all kinds of issues that are involved and all kinds of anxieties loss of mama loss of papa loss of your parents loss this uh, police come to arrest you uh, at any time. A psychiatric uh, ambulance vehicle coming to pick you up. Th this is all kinds of stuff they involved in MK Ultra. Okay, let me give you a response because yesterday I semi gave a response to certain issues, and I'm not going to say anything to what on what I gave this kind of issues, but I totally made myself clear about certain issues in respect to police here in Novo Mesto, which, no, this is not it. Like, for instance, issues with which they bought it on how it's going to be, uh, how they're going to harass me, you know, you go at night, you go to exercise, you go for a walk, you don't go for somebody to harass you, stalk you, and make his revelations about past, which was based on, let's say, just violence and stuff like this. This is more than just about violence. That's why I addressed you in the beginning of the video as global police community to pay attention to this. This is not about, this is not if this isn't bad about you torture somebody and then you pose in front of that person when he's doing something that should otherwise be relaxing uh, in his free time and stuff. This is more than about this. This is more than about this. This is why I wanted to, you know, video record this stuff. They really, really, really try hard to get me, assaulted me, and did all kinds of stuff so they would prove that I'm dangerous, something with me. And did this so according to MK Ultra scenario, uh, prove that I'm I'm dangerous. Uh, let let me stop here with this stuff. Let, look, this is a police station here, police station. Novo Mesto. See it? It's a big fucking building, enormous building. You see this building here? You see this building here? If it was for me, because I'm saying this because never ever this stuff is going to happen. It will never ever happen. But I want you to know, I want the world to remember these words. You see this police station, how big it is? It's a giant police station. You know what? When I visited police station, when I, and they brought this criminal that tortured for 26 years that was involved in MKUltra, it was other police officers that post other police officers that distributed me throughout the area here were standing right next to the people that tortured and acted ignorant uh, pretense you know like they can do nothing and so on that's how they do it look and you know what else you know how they do it I'm going to tell you what they did to me. That's why I address this as a global police community. 
during the beatings, during the torture they exercised, either involving other people in it or doing it themselves for 26 years. I heard nothing out of it from the police, from the from the from the people with police badges. I heard nothing out of them. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you will be able to do. What are you gonna do? Nič ne moreš. Kaj boš? Nič ne moreš. Nič ne boš mogu narediti. There is nothing you will be capable to do. This is not gonna happen. What I'm gonna tell you, unfortunately. Unfortunately, and because of this, that's what's not going to happen. Not because of this, that's what's not going to happen. But unfortunately, the only thing that's going to come out of it, because this is not going to happen, unfortunately, there will be some, some of you guys that are good guys, good cops with badges on your chests like I wanted to become a police officer, they'll be killed randomly, wounded randomly someplace here, someplace there, unfortunately. That's basically is what's going to happen. And why this is going to happen? And it will not happen. It will not happen now, because it should have happened, but it didn't happen. If it was for me, I would have this building surrounded with the military and I would barricade one with, you know what the Swiss cheese looks like with the holes? I personally would want this building with the police inside shredded to look like a Swiss cheese. The people that would want to come out to surrender themselves I would met them with the grenade launchers between their balls, between between their legs. I would not allow a single police officer, police officer, to surrender even. Professional military surround the building and would make shrapnels fly on the other end of the buildings out with the scum inside, without mercy and would go like this night and day till there will be nothing but dust left from the building because this is how you do with a terrorist it's not the police it's a terrorist so they have a people in london and they have a people in washington dc inside of the white house inside of the u.s congress they connected themselves they have people inside of the buckingham palace but no they have nothing to do with the police. These are not citizens. When I say they have nothing to do with police, I undermine tremendously when I just compare, when you throw something on a comparison. A, a criminal of this size, like this, to do stuff like this to people and compare, they just, you say they got nothing to do with, they got nothing to do even with the regular citizens. It's a terrorist, and it's a terrorist of the worst kind. It's a domestic terrorist. It's not a terrorist that you would send on a foreign mission to hunt. It's a domestic terrorist that is promoting a terrorism, domestic terrorism, crime of the worst kind. This is not going to happen. It didn't happen. Obviously, it's not going to happen. Now this thing did caught attention from the whole world. It's not going to happen. In either way, this this wouldn't happen, right? Because it's like civilized society somewhere inside of the supposed inside of the European Union. But it should have happened. If something like this would have happened and would set a good good example for how not to behave with police badge on your chest, with police badge in your hand. You understand? That's how you do with a terrorist. That's exactly how you do with a terrorist. That's a terrorist. It's not a police officer. That's all I wanted to say. You go to the police station. 
Um, as I see a lot of uh, stuff, a lot of things happen out there. And it's difficult for the people that uh, something like this is done to. And maybe it's even more difficult for those that serve in police. Because when you dress that uniform and you go out there, you go out there to prevent crime. You go out there to catch and take away criminals. Uh, to ensure that society can function, that is functional. And in this case, we have exactly, exactly the opposite. We have people here that have done stuff that I deem aren't worthy, are not worthy to stand the trial. You understand? Because it's just the expense. It'll cost a lot of money, society. It'll cost harm to innocent police officers somewhere else. They're going to suffer because of the stuff like this. It's a very, very bad case. They'll get away because they have these people in London. They'll get away. They, they will get away even. They will even get away because they have these people in London, because they have these people in Washington, D.C. They'll save their ass. They may go and sit them somewhere for some time, but eventually they'll get away. The reality here about this is that this is a terrorism. And with this kind of terrorism, I feel that it's too costly to sit so many on trial, you understand? And to make an example out of police station like this, out of this police station is packed with the criminals. This police station is packed with the criminals. It's nothing but terrorism on this police station. You know, I mentioned on my new site that there'll be those involved in this and that. You know, surely enough, those that were not directly involved have observed and didn't come here to report, to point with a finger. They stick with see nothing, heard nothing, know nothing principle. With a shit conscience. And this is not the way for the police. So if you're a police officer, you know that this is just not how you operate. This is not the way you go about your everyday. There are certain things to be kept, kept secret, absolutely. Confidential, I should say. But this is about something else. It concerns Slovenia itself directly because this is about sovereignty issues as well. It's a political thing. Uh, and I completely agree that there is just to a certain degree, to a certain level, that you can enforce a certain issue in this matter. Uh, but we can all agree on one thing. This was about domestic terrorism more than anything else. You cannot go over there. You cannot torture physically. And I'm, I'm talking about torture that was designed to waste somebody health-wise. Not only psychologically destroy one, but health-wise leave you harm. Uh, they tortured... Uh, they tortured, they sleep deprived on a regular basis for a week or two for no less than three years. I was a sportsman when I was young. Indifferent from the top sportsmen you see, you have seen. And I suppose that I was physically somehow hardened enough to carry on, but nothing more than to carry on, nothing more than to survive throughout this ordeal. Otherwise, you would not get this, because physically, the body could not stand 
the amount of torture in you know, sleep deprivation um, the weight increase uh, the improper diet uh, lack of exercise uh, depression and million other issues that somehow my body somehow managed to to overcome pass uh, not to disregard as I stated they have surgically even inflicted injuries on my body to create blood clots and that kind of stuff because it wasn't enough because they wanted to waste you at, at all the costs you understand but it's never going to come out it's never going to be realized it better not be realized uh, this police station should be surrounded with a professional military I can say barricaded but shredded and then they'll say even blown into pieces but systematically destroyed in the same way as they have done it to me in the same way as they were exercising crime through me maybe even on a general population which I cannot relate to because nobody related to me nobody came to me and say you know there is another case they have we have observed they have done this to somebody else and this and that for me when it comes to the police officers the only thing that's going to stay within novel mesto is going to be as i stated to you the words there is nothing you can do there will be nothing you will be capable to do and the memories on beatings insults which police were standing next to private citizens they involve in crime or they have committed themselves you understand that's all there is that's all i want to let you know about the uh, anxiety issues it's a guy that that keeps coming here uh to fix the furnace and my mother stated yesterday he did not even he didn't even told my mother anything about coming uh for his visit yesterday he came again and is, is this guy alone he stated to me during mk ultra he's going to be coming for the director of police to collect something that they will be recording and stuff like that. I told you about anxiety. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a three fucks about you in London or you in Washington DC inside of the White House or Congress or Buckingham Palace, presidential palace even, or the police that you're using for these things. There is no anxiety here. I'm telling you, if it was for me, it this building entire building would have been surrounded with the military and the bullets would fly on the other side of the building right through like a swiss cheese anything else is better not to see you understand it goes beyond grand treason a grand treason is one thing but what you committed that's called a terrorism that is a real domestic terrorism you're not a police, you're a domestic terrorist. I'm just letting you know, it's not going to happen. God forbid any incident in respect to the police station, Novo Mesto, would take place. It's got to be the way Washington, D.C., U.S. Congress, American Congress, Joe Biden, Strasbourg, European Court for Human Rights. It's got to be done in coordinates with all the European laws and treaties and so on. I'm just letting you know how I would have done it, how should have been done it, but it was not. And because it was not done, it will cost lives or more of more decent people including the police officers on other locations of the world that's all i'm saying to you in this video thanks for watching this video anxiety issues that somebody is afraid
No, it's not about anxiety issues. It's about pushing person over the board. It's about make person give out statement that would potentially jeopardize me. It's basically about pushing one over the board. But this video is just to explain that there is no fear here, not for ambulance vehicles, not for the police. But everything else I already have stated on the news site. I ain't got nothing to do with anybody. I'm minding my own business. And that's how it is. Yesterday in the evening when I posted this news here, the police immediately followed up on me. This was the news I posted yesterday in respect to police. Right here. This is not about the stalking, and I want you to understand that this is about coordinated attacks. This here, this is this is what I was told by the locals in Slovenia. Uh, if you're gonna do stuff like this, uh, we're gonna do stuff like that. Yeah, locals. Now, these locals are everything but locals. What I'm about to tell you is I left out from the house and I did go for a walk last evening. For a small walk I went. This here, this is this is this is somewhere here, and I can I barely even see here. This is our house here, and then doesn't matter, it's here somewhere, yeah, something like that. Uh, I went for a walk, and there is a clay, place here past this here, what you see here, Jihovo Cerro. Uh, it's called the Dolenia Vas, and then it's here Gumberg. It says the road here. It's a little bridge here, beautiful, and then there is a road here like that, just like this. Yeah, I told you this stuff is all coordinated with Washington DC. It's all coordinated with um, um, with the Buckingham Palace, and this is to demonstrate you also to point you out more about why this stuff is coordinated with the Washington DC, with the Buck with the British, and with Americans, with the protection they provided for them. Uh, this here is when I came last night, it was exactly about 5 minutes maybe, or 7.55 hours, 19.55, 20 hundred hours between, pitch dark, see that bridge right there, there right, right there, and uh, in response to this here that you see, and it's exactly what locals told me, the one who implanted this stuff, however, is a police. This is a this novel master police. We, if you will do something like this here, Slovenia, you know, if you're going to take this, they say this is a dispute. They don't understand how far this crime have gone. They don't understand they destroyed me 28 years with a forced unemployment involving in it even psychiatry next to all other issues, I mean, they don't understand any of it. This is like animals. These are animals. They don't understand any of it. They are playing. They keep playing. They keep playing. They keep playing with their country. They keep playing with everything, with law. They keep playing like there is no fucking tomorrow. And they do this because they have Washington, D.C., because they have London. The police officer whom I have met a few months ago, eventually told me that he's got place in Britain reserved in case he's going to have to run out of Slovenia. Look. There was a, a Volkswagen Passat caravan 
that used exactly this kind of trailer but it was much much longer than this it was something like this it was at least five meters long and on the side that's just interesting i couldn't notice anything about this that he would be in the night it was a pitch dark right here in this valley that i demonstrated right there i stepped on the side and i let this car that was rushing through you know he was going through this very narrow place here probably i estimated about 30 kilometers an hour something like that noticing me uh from quite a from quite a distance uh as i was walking and i had my um well let me demonstrate i had my um, how do you say this um, it's also a perfect opportunity for me to point you out how how it goes uh, i have this kind of cat eye or whatever you want to call this which already was broken just as police investigator involved in crime told me that he will break this and this is broken on two, two twice is broken it's broken here and it's broken here they have had the competition during mk ultra on how to create something like this they have had people involved in it and people involved in it were creating something like this because of the night walk and stuff like this that you wouldn't get punished by the police when you walk at night time Or hit by the car and so on and this is just happened so exactly is the item from Tashkagora from the bicycle those items were involved in MK Ultra I told you about this and it's a police investigator whom I have met upon father's hospitalization at the police station on Novomesto who met me you know, they pushed him forward who promised me he will do the stuff like this they get without absolutely any doubt my belongings inside of this house they get a hold of them i left them unattended you listen you go and you drink coffee i left them unattended downstairs and so on and it's unbelievable i have no idea how but they get them they get a hold of them they do this was uh this i noticed just a few days ago the thing is that i am so busy doing other stuff thinking about it that i don't immediately notice this stuff so i don't know how long uh, exactly when this was broken off to me this was broken on two ends this was not broken on one because these are two separate ends you see this this is like this yeah so this is not this was not broken off in one piece but it was broken twice once here and then here yeah. it's this kind of stuff they, they keep you on toes <clears throat> and basically that's how it goes you know uh the trailer was i estimate at least five meters long and did not have anything on the sideways that would give me idea that uh, any kind of lights anything like this but it was just five meters five meters long uh, exactly like you see here nothing not you, you couldn't see in, in a pitch dark like this you couldn't see this beast passing next to you you couldn't see anything it was just let me demonstrate to you it just looked like this and um because it's so narrow and the car go past you and you step out back on the road the only thing that happens is in in a dark like this the only thing it happens is it hits you and if you don't end up dead you just um you definitely end up crippled for life okay with this stuff i have not i don't think 
this here was present okay but it was so sh uh, so dark that i cannot tell i don't know if this if something like this was attached to it yeah i don't know okay on the side and uh i must tell you that this thing here this the rear was longer it was something like this you know it was something like that it was at least when this shit went past me when i saw it i realized the danger of this beast that had no proper um lights anything that that would indicate uh the danger of this uh <clears throat> well transportation on the on the road without uh in, in in this dark valley it it was quite incredible and, and it's quite incredible also to notice that this car appears was continual because 30 kilometers an hour over there is quite fast he would not slow down you know when you see a pedestrian like this especially because of what you have with you you would want to slow down to make sure that something would not happen as you drag this kind of stuff and it was this individual who was involved in mk ultra together with the police exactly this individual who also stated me if you're gonna say something like this if you're gonna do something like this like i have demonstrated you here then what we're gonna do we're gonna be doing the stuff like this and when i had to death threaten as i stated one yeah but under mk ultra but that's not gonna do anything to me and so on and so forth and he stated to me well eventually it's gonna caught up with you we have quite a few things like this according to mk ultra and this is the stuff americans demanded for me to identify now about who this guy is i am gonna use this kind of map So oh, this is the bridge, this is the village. Somehow it zoomed me into this thing here, which is quite incredible. You can tell that. Um, let's see this stuff here. It's like this. To me, during MK Ultra, uh, they did not. Um, <laughs> shit. Doesn't give me a chance. No, it, it, it's not going to demonstrate anything. Okay. We're going to do it like this. From what I recall, this individual as the first individual, because as I stated, he was involved in MK Ultra, and then it was the police that investigated who this individual was. That's exactly what happened. We went, they took me for a walking, and it was exactly this individual that would pass by. Police realized that this shit was deadly dangerous, and they went ahead to investigate an individual very shortly. It appears that individual eventually uh to me it appeared as if is as if individual was someone from this village which police later on have disputed together with americans 
they started to brainwash on some other issues. This individual at first, which whom police have identified, it appeared to have had a garage, because I think there are actually two individuals. I don't think it's a one individual. I think it's a police plot. Uh, this could have had accident as a result. Uh, the best would be just to take... To expand this, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. A house. That's what it appears as the first. where you would somehow go down like this you would go down to the house um had a had a completely completely different landscape from what police afterwards demanded for me to identify and what involved yeah there were two completely com what because it was a panic when we went for a walk when we went for a walk it appeared to me that this trailer owner was literally from this village the police traced him uh rush after him and wanted to know who the fuck this guy is with this thing during mk ultra that's exactly how it was they were alarmed with this with this trailer with this with with this thing deadly and it was exactly on the location i have specified that this individual passed me when i was um heading back toward our house it appeared to me during investigation that this guy was somewhere here located somehow that it was somewhere in this area here, in this, what is known as uh, Dolenia Vas. That it was something like this, some, somewhere here in this area here. Okay, that's what it appeared to me to be, somewhere in this area here. Because this goes into this area here. It could have been also here somewhere, I don't know. I did not go and uh, investigate the for this kind of issue, the area yet, to go and scan, scout, to get an idea about this. However, the police demanded from me to point out an, an, some kind of individual that is located here, which is um, this area here, around this ZNAS transport, and that it should be here somewhere in this area, somewhere here house here somewhere something like this it's called gumberg thus i came to conclusion because it was a big confusion about this there might be two owners of this trailer especially because an individual who that threatened me with this issue have stated that he is not worried about the issue because there is some cameras here somewhere that this is a video surveillance camera uh, by cameras video surveillance area and will demonstrate that uh, it was not a problem that it was everything that was as legitimate and so on and so forth i think this is a problem i think this is another police setup i think that if i would go and investigate this issue the investigation most likely would demonstrate that there are two of these trailers one that would not present the problem and the other one that i encountered yesterday when i walked through this bridge through this narrow area here that you see i think there is a problem there is a tremendous problem with this police station it's a big problem it's a big fucking problem americans drilled on the issue 
for me to point out where this individual is. Contrary to this individual, that's why I am alarmed and I'm pretty sure that there are two trailers like this, which very much differ from one another, with one having a side marks and with the other one without any side marks that would let pedestrian know about the presence of the trailer in the back that he is towing. Contrary to this house, there is another house that is that the owner had me inside of his garage, a very light garage, a newer house um, with access to this uh, house uh, that would be completely normal, normal uh, access to garage where he would park. And this garage was actually inside of the house. A uh, bright, quite big garage and so on. So I'm confused about who this guy, or I should say which one of these two guys was. But I'm not confused on an issue when it comes to police about what exactly happened yesterday in respect to this in respect to this incident. That's one thing I'm not confused. This is something I was told the case is gonna be. I am bound to report about this issue. And uh, you can see this um, whichever way you like to see it, whether you see this as a, uh, that's up to you how you see this kind of stuff. But I don't see this stuff as a normal. When I saw this passing next to me like this at my time in a pitch dark, it was bad. I got a really, really chilly feeling about this issue because I could have stepped right behind the car on the road and got, as I stated, if not killed, probably crippled for life. It would be really, really bad. And it was involved in MK Ultra. Just as the bus driver was involved in MK Ultra, whom I have encountered last year, somewhere in the middle of the year. At this location here, and who rushed maybe even centimeters from me in direction of the city through this area right here. Yes, you have a Kirka Pharmaceutical on the other side, and then you have a bridge, and you have this farm here, and it was also a repetition of MK Ultra, for which it was actually an American individual who was with me at the time of this incident during MK Ultra when they noticed that it was this bus driver that rushed and easily could hit uh, is easily could I don't know whether hit me or um, MK Ultra staff member. I find this interesting that oh, they always implicated Americans in this. Huh? Slovenian police always implicated Americans in this. So always was American who saw it. Always was American who not was present for what I stated. Was not American that was present. But they made sure that I would understand that it was verified and okayed by Americans as how I must identify individual who did this with a car. And in this case here, apparently it was American MK Ultra staff member who reported about this issue so that I would also identify the bus driver who, however, would exercise and did exercise assassination attempt. I see this is assassination attempt. You don't fucking do this stuff. If I would go and use a headphones, for which Americans told me, do never use headphones when you're hiking. So, it appears that Americans have taken the right, reserved the right to themselves. So, this here, this is the road here. Now you're talking about the bus. My walking like.
like this next to the road uh and a bus heading my way with probably speed exceeding 40 kilometers an hour at least and coming inches close to me to give me any reminder to not use headphones keep in mind a bus driver was driving in the direction of the city and was therefore sitting in the bus on this side of the bus so he allowed himself this kind of tolerance here a play with the dead in my case to remind me of that kind of issue that's not okay this kind of reminders this kind of game this kind of this kind of stuff this is not a fall game this is a play with the death thus i condemn and police now i'm asked the police of yet another assassination attempt which took place yesterday next to what i demonstrated you here and here also something i have audio recorded this kind of games are not okay This is not MK Ultra play. This is these are assassination attempts. You don't do this. I'm an adult person. You're nowhere to toot or anybody to give anybody any kinds of instructions on how to what to do in life and what not to do. I'm 50 years old. I've avoided so many deaths, death plots, that I can't even count the number of these assassination attempts, real assassination attempts. You're nobody to tutor, to give anybody any kind of lessons. I drove a semi-trailer trucks in the United States, also little across the Europe. When you see a pedestrian, when you see a situation like this, and take note that I was very much off the road. I was not walking on the road. I was not walking on the asphalt pavement. You understand? What you do is, with a bus, the first thing you do is you reduce the speed if you, in case you have to move to another vehicle, which I don't think it was the case. I have audio recorded this stuff and video recorded this stuff, but I did not report about it you don't actually go with the same velocity without reducing a velocity and maybe even speeding up to demonstrate an individual how she, she should not have a headphones after all also and this is a note to police which is observing using the stalking for this kind of issue i'm not going to say that this is abuse of power but this is abuse of what you claim is going to be used for the MK Ultra to assist me to meet the people, to identify the people, to prove my case for some other reasons, such as assassination. So, it's not okay. This was yet another assassination attempt. It took place in 2021. For you to push down through to this kind of issues but as i stated in respect to this police building here nothing is going to happen i don't want anything to happen this thing have gone through if anything is going to happen anything like this would happen i would be the one to blame for the police also anticipate i'm going to make statements like this so they're going to orchestrate incident at the police station by using literally silicon mask of me and then spurge hunt manhunt on me but when it comes to the novel master police when it comes to slovenian police it's just gonna stay with you whatever police officer you are and you're doing your work and it's a hard work you risk your lives every day the statement when I told you in respect to this building, how it should have been done, but it will not be done. I reserve the right for you to take note. 
not only nobody fears, nobody is based on some kind of anxiety feelings, but understand my point of view on you, how I feel about you, how it should have been done with you, and regretfully so, it to say it was not, and in regretfully it will not be done, but it should be done. You are a cost. You are expense, enormous expense for the society. You are misusing a public funds for something that's used actually to produce terrorism, that is actually used to produce crime heavily. You manufacture, talking about you, police officers, at no means of police station. You are a car manufacturer. You are a factory. You are a crime factory. You are a crime spree factory. You are like a company in Nova Mesto, like Kirka Pharmaceutical or Renault, where they produce, where they manufacture car, uh, cars, except that you manufacture crime. You are the number one enemy for the law enforcement in this world. You are the one that is surpassing the common criminals that one can meet on the road. You are a terrorist. It goes beyond the grand treason. That's why I told you, it will never be done. But you take a note, what I told you today, how I see you as what I think about, what should have been done with you, with your police station, with your police, what this, for the services you provided me, for the services you provided to the world as a law enforcement agency. You are terrorists. And I'm going to outline to you this here again as a thank you note, because that's what this here is. You see? So, um, no anxiety here, no fear here. Do as pleased, make what you make you happy. But I'm going to repeat to you, if it was for me, it's too late now. It's far too late now. Through my eyes, what you do with a police station like this, not with the police involved, but with a police station like this, is exactly what I stated to you in this video. Too bad that's not going to happen. Is if something like this would have happened, you would set the prime example for every police officer on how, what, how, not to pursue the society is what not to do to people as a law enforcement officer when you put your uniforms on. What to and what not. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.